Today we're going to take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to install an iShield pressure-sensitive adhesive pneumatic wing de-ice boot. iShield PSA boots provide several advantages compared to a standard wing boot, including quicker, neater, cleaner installation, minimal use of solvents, reduced labor hours, and the ability to fly the aircraft immediately after installation. During this video, all tools and supplies necessary, as well as key steps of the process will be highlighted. Proper safety equipment, including protective eyewear, is recommended. The viewing of this video will not certify any company or individual as an official certified iShield installer and is only to be used for reference purposes. Please reference any instructions for continued airworthiness as specified per the STC for your specific application. If at any point during this video you have questions or concerns, please reach out to iShield at 1-800-767-6899. Let's begin. Common items necessary for installation of an iShield PSA de-icer include metal yard ruler, toluene resistant chemical gloves, nitrile gloves, iShield PSA installation kit, vacuum source, rubber roller, half inch nylon roller, metal stitching roller, masking tape, chalk line, permanent marker, scissors, toluene, and empty chemical containers. Before starting the installation process, verify that you have the correct replacement de-ice boot for application. You can check this in the aircraft IPC or determine the part number of the previously installed boot. iShield.com can be used as a reference. The first step after the removal of the old de-ice boot is to clean the leading edge surface. Wearing toluene resistant chemical gloves, wipe the leading edge surface several times with a clean cloth dampened with toluene. Next, with the release film in place, dry fit the new Ice Shield PSA de-icer onto the leading edge surface, verifying the de-icer's total length, total width, air connection location, and cutout locations. Mask the aircraft leading edge with tape one half inch beyond the de-icer width. On a clean workstation, roll out the de-icer, bond side up, and on the ice shield boot, measure the distance from the air connection to the pre-applied center line. Now measure the same distance from the center of the air connection hole on the leading edge to find the leading edge center and make a mark. With the de-icer on the wing, start at the air inlet and roll back the de-icer to verify the point of contact reflects the mark you just applied where the pre-marked de-icer center line meets the leading edge. On the outboard end of the leading edge, using a level, hold perpendicular to the leading edge surface, ensuring level, and mark the point of contact. Using an assistant, stretch a chalk line across the leading edge, using the permanent marker center line marks as your guide, and strike a chalk line. Following the chalk line, apply marks using your permanent marker every 12 to 15 inches. Carefully remove all chalk dust from the leading edge. Using a straight edge, here we use a metal yardstick, mark the center line with permanent marker as one complete line on the leading edge. Wearing toluene resistant gloves, use a lint-free toluene dampened cloth and begin wiping the leading edge following immediately with a lint-free dry cloth to remove any chalk residue. Be cautious not to remove your newly applied permanent marker center line. Open the iShield installation kit supplied with the purchase of the iShield PSA de-icer. The installation kit contains two two-inch foam brushes, one one-inch natural bristle brush, two lint-free swabs, 
SMR A56B conductive cement, and 3M primer. Now you're ready to cover the leading edge with one even coat of primer. Wearing nitrile gloves, pour a small amount of primer into a clean, empty chemical container. Using the supplied foam brush, cover the leading edge with primer. Ensure the bonding area is completely covered with an even coat of primer. Allow five minutes of dry time. For composite leading edges and areas repaired with body filler, apply a second coat of primer and repeat the five minute dry time. If a dry time of 30 minutes is lapsed, apply another coat of primer. On a clean workstation, roll out the de-icer bond side up and bend the de-icer along the pre-cut release film lines, including the center line. This will allow the release paper to be removed more easily when installing the de-icer. Before removing any release film, ensure that the workstation is clean and free of debris. No foreign objects can come in contact with pre-applied PSA adhesive. Next, apply vacuum to the de-icer. With the air inlet in place, remove the release film closest to the air inlet and roll down with a two inch rubber roller. Continue the process of removing release film and rolling down the center line in 10 to 12 inch sections until the center line is completely adhered to the leading edge. Helpful tip. To avoid touching the pressure sensitive adhesive with your bare hands, use a small section of release paper to hold the de-icer away from the aircraft skin. After the center line is completely adhered, gently bend the de-ice boot back toward the center line as you remove the next pre-cut strip of release liner. Rolling outward from the center line, Use the rubber roller to roll the boot firmly against the leading edge. The outward rolling ensures that no air is trapped under the de-ice boot. Take caution that all of the release film is removed from the boot and once the film is removed, the boot does not touch the leading edge while removing the release paper. Work outwards from the center line on both trailing edges, removing one release liner strip at a time and rolling down each section before proceeding to the next. Leave the last strip of release liner on the de-ice boot until the remainder of the boot has been installed. This allows the assistant to hold the de-icer without having to touch the pre-applied adhesive. Once the de-icer is completely bonded to the leading edge, use the metal stitching roller to roll down and adhere the entire perimeter of the de-ice boot. If necessary, trim any excess boot using a standard utility knife. The next step is applying SMRA 56B conductive cement. Apply tape one quarter inch inside the edge of the de-ice boot and just inside of the paint line on the leading edge. Ensure there is a quarter inch of bare metal between the de-icer and the paint on the leading edge. Using the one and a half inch brush, apply conductive cement between the tapes. Have an assistant follow closely behind, removing the tape immediately after application. In this stage, the assistant can use the tube supplied with the new ice shield boot to remove the tape. Now the ice shield pressure sensitive adhesive wing boot is properly installed on the leading edge. Flight may occur immediately. Thank you for viewing this ice shield video. We appreciate your business. Force to Focus Studios. Captivate and inspire your audience with breathtaking images.